Hey gang, welcome back. Big John with you here. Uh, thought it was time for y'all to see my ugly mug. I could have picked a better day for it. Uh, it's about 9.30 in the morning. I get, just got off work not too long ago. I worked nights. So I apologize for the tired eyes, the bags. But I wanted to make this video. I wanted to make this happen. So we're going to move forward. I was a little... Uh, concerned about making this video because of all of the stuff going on right now on Facebook about firearms and this and, that and the other ad mageddon and all that kind of good stuff and then I thought you know what I don't have any ads on my channel yet and I don't get paid for any of them so I don't give a shit so I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway I was watching a video by Michael Cargill, who is the owner of Central Texas Gunworks. And guys, speaking of Central Texas Gunworks, if you are looking for firearms, firearm accessories, or firearm training, Central Texas Gunworks is the place to go. Mike and his team do great work. Uh, they're fantastic, they're knowledgeable, they're great. I can't say enough about them, and I'm not getting anything out of this. Uh, I just, you know, know from experience that they do a great job. So if you're looking for firearms, firearm accessories, or firearm training, go check out Central Texas Gunworks. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. So I'm watching this video with Mike, and I notice the holster that he's wearing. And I really liked it. So I messaged him. I'm like, hey, Mike, where did you get this holster? And he says, go check out No Surrender Holsters on Facebook. So I go check them out. Looks like great stuff. Good prices. But at the time, it wasn't a necessity. I didn't really need another holster at the time. I mean, do you ever really need another holster? You got a drawer full of them, right? You're fine. You don't need another one. Just like you don't need another gun. <clears throat> anyway, um, so I put it on the back burner. Fast forward to a um, couple, several weeks ago, I decide that I'm looking for an easy on holster. Uh, there are certain times when I, I need a holster that I can put on fairly quickly, fairly easily, uh, possibly even in a public place. I have a couple, again, I have a, <laughs> a couple of great holsters. I have an outside the waistband holster, a Kydex holster. It's great, but I have to take my belt off to put it through the belt loops, if you will. Uh, and then I have a fantastic inside the waistband holster. I have a crossbreed super tuck, which is awesome. But I literally have to be to put it on as I'm getting dressed with my pants undone. So this is not something that I can say pull up in a public parking lot and decide I'm going to put on because the last thing that I need is for someone to be calling the police and saying, uh, yeah, there's a guy out here who has his pants down and he has a gun. That's not going to be a good day for me. <laughs> okay, whether I'm doing anything illegal or not, the cops are going to show up with a quickness and it's going to get really ugly really quickly. So I want something that I can put on fairly quickly and fairly inconspicuously so I decided to go back and look at no surrender holsters and they have an inside the waistband holster that looks like it's going to be a fairly easy on uh, and not only that but there are times when it is just easier to conceal my weapon and I know I'm gonna catch some flack for this because I know some people that I'm friends with on Facebook they're gonna see this and say you should never conceal your weapon. You should always open carry. Okay. I get it. I'm a, I'm a huge open carry advocate. People that know me 
I open carry probably 90% of the time. I believe that it's our right. I believe that you should be able to do it. Uh, I know right now here in Texas, we're trying to get uh, constitutional carry passed to where anybody can open carry, which is the way it should be. But this is America. I believe that you have the right to do things as you wish. And if you want to conceal carry your weapon, you should have the right to do so. And I feel that sometimes it's just prudent to do it that way. So anyway, I see the holster. I think, I think that'll work. So I message them, which is the way you get the whole ball rolling. You message them on Facebook. You tell them what you're looking for. You kind of go back and forth. You find the holster that's best for you. I told them I wanted something small, something thin. I carry a large pistol. I carry a Gen 4 Glock 22. So full size service pistol. A little difficult to conceal. Fortunately, I'm a big guy. I have that on my side. But still large pistol. Don't get me wrong. I love it to death. But sometimes it's hard to conceal. So they tell me, hey, we've got a single wall, single ply, Kydex, inside the waistband holster, 50 bucks, deliver. $50 to your door. I said, you know what? I'm all in. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. This is on a Tuesday. They send me an invoice. I pay it electronically. They hit me back. Hey, we got your payment. We're going to start on your holster right away. Start on your holster right away. They make their holsters to order. They don't have boxes of these things ready to go. They make them as you order. So it's made to order. So I get a message a few days later. Hey, your, your holster's ready. It's getting shipped out. Should be there on Monday. I'm thinking, man, I paid for this thing on Tuesday. It's going to be here Monday. That's impressive. Now, granted, they're right down the road in Kyle. I get that. Still, a one-week turnaround, incredible. So I'm like, hey, thanks a lot. I come home from work. Like I said, I work nights. So I come home from work Sunday morning. I check my mail. Guess what's in the mailbox? My holster, which means it got delivered on Saturday. I paid for it on Tuesday. I got it on Saturday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Five days. From the time I paid for it to the time they had to make it, box it, ship it, and get it delivered, five days. You can't ask for better customer service than that. I'm severely impressed. So I messaged them back, guys, I got the holster today. I'm so impressed. Thank you so much. It looks great. Blah, blah, blah. They hit me back. Hey, John, we're so glad you're happy. We appreciate your business. Thank you so much. And then the icing on the cake, we appreciate you doing business with a veteran owned and operated business. Guys, you can watch any of my videos, any of my last few videos, or my friends on Facebook who see things I post about the troops or vets, I always end it with, I love my troops. That was the icing on the cake for me. It's a veteran owned and operated business. I got a good product at a good price, fantastic customer service, and it's a veteran owned and operated business. Guys, you can't beat that with a stick. So with that being said, we're going to look at the holster. I'm going to tell you some of the things I like about it. And I'm actually, believe it or not, going to tell you something that I don't like about it. So hang tight. All right, guys, so here we are. This is the holster. Again, this is from No Surrender Holsters. You're gonna have to pardon my shadow. Guys, I'm doing the best I can with what I have. <laughs> uh, 
It's a single ply Kydex inside the waistband holster. You'll notice that the inside of it is very shiny and that is to make it a little slicker to help protect with uh, holster wear. Mm -hmm. So it should slide a little easier. Um, you might want to every once in a while give it a, a light coating of oil to help your uh, weapon slip in and out a little easier cut down on your holster wear. You'll notice that it is made from one solid piece kydex. There are no screws on this side. It's just folded in half, which again makes it a little smaller, a little easier to conceal, and it's held together with just one screw right here which is all it needs and you can also adjust the re the retention with this screw which uh, I adjusted it down just a little bit from what I got delivered to give it just a little more retention <clears throat> and when I've talked about the easy on you've got this one one big uh, I caped hate to keep reusing this word but one big honking clip that connects it to your pants or your belt so it's you know pretty simple slide it right in this thing goes right over your belt or your pants boom you're done it's on that's all it takes okay um, fantastic fit. You can see that it is formed for your specific weapon. They have a list on their Facebook site of the different weapons that uh, they have holsters available for. You just let them know what you want and they can make it happen. Um, it's a great fit. I'll show you guys. Um, for all of you safety Nazis out there. We're good to go. Okay. Um, there is no magazine. And we're clear. Okay. Everybody happy? Yay. Um, awesome fit. Fits right in there. Like I said, I adjusted the retention down just a little bit uh, to give it a little more retention. Nothing crazy. You can see that. It's not, you know, I'm not having to yank it out of there. But also, this is going to be inside your waistband which means that your belt is going to be coming right across here, which is going to also help with retention. Overall, guys, I'm really, really impressed with this holster. Now, I said I was going to talk about one thing that I don't like. Um, I'm getting a little more comfortable with it, and that is the fact that this... Is what is up against your body okay a lot of inside the waistband holsters are uh, hybrids they they're you know kydex on the outside leather on the inside it's supposed to be more comfortable etc etc but again more of a pain in the butt to put on when I first wore this holster, I'm going to be completely honest, I thought it was the most uncomfortable holster I'd ever worn in my life. For as big as a guy as I am, I have some bony hips. And this, pressing up against my hip, was not comfortable. 
Now, the more that I have worn it, the more comfortable it has gotten. I don't know if I've just gotten used to it. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But the more I've worn it, the more comfortable it has gotten. So, with that being the only con among all these pros, I think that overall, this is a fantastic holster. I'm very impressed with it. I like it a lot. Uh, I like this holster a lot. I really do. So, man, if you are in the market for a new holster, which everybody is always in the market for a new holster, I'm telling you guys, go to No Surrender Holsters on Facebook. Check them out. They have outside the waistband holsters, inside the waistband holsters. They have mag holders. They have a, a, a gamut of stuff that you can order. Check them out. Their customer service is unbelievable. Uh, at least it was for me. Uh, their prices are fair. You can pick from different colors. They have a, a myriad of colors that you can pick from for your holster. I mean, ladies, if you want a hot pink holster, you can get a hot pink holster. And if I remember correctly, they told me that all colors are the same price. So, if you want a zombie green holster, if you want a purple holster, if you want a hot pink holster, whatever. Same price. So, I'm, I'm telling you, guys, you owe it you owe it to yourself to at least go and take a look at No Surrender Holsters and give them a chance. And do me a favor, if you decide to buy a holster from these guys, and guys, I don't get anything from this. Again, nobody, they don't sponsor me, they don't give me stuff. I bought this holster, I was just extremely impressed with the customer service. I'm extremely impressed with the product. That's the only reason I'm raving about this thing. Uh, so I'm not getting anything out of this. But do me a favor, tell them that Big John sent you just so that they know that I'm putting the word out there that these guys are doing a great job. Guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, guys, I love my troops. Thank you for your service. And until next time, I'll see you.